Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over working with DAS files in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly is an awesome app that allows you to take your doodles and turn them into digital creations. It has a lot of features, but one you may not be familiar with is its ability to import and share digital assets in the form of DAS files. Now this little starburst here is a very simple graphic that I created in, in a graphics design tool. Now I've gone ahead and I've uploaded it into Doodly as you can see, and I did create the drawing paths. Now, while this is a simple example, the same holds true for your more complex images. Now, what if I have a friend, a colleague, or a client who uses Doodly and might want to use this same exact file? Of course, I could share the original graphic with them as a PNG or SVG, but then they'd have to create their own drawing paths. Now, this is a simple example, but if I had a more complicated image with more complex drawing paths, it would be really valuable to them to not have to do it themselves. So how do I share it with them? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to navigate to the item in your list. In this case, it's in my props and it's right here at the top. And you right click on it and you choose this little share button. You enter a name for your DAS file and then your friend's email address. And off it goes, the asset is sent to the person's email. So what if you're the one who receives the DAS file? Or what if you wanna send instructions to the other person on how to import it into their doodly? Well, it's super simple. So in this example now, we're gonna pretend I'm someone else and I have received a DAS file. In this case, it's a character. So what I wanna do is I wanna go over to my characters tab and I want to hit the blue plus sign. This is just like importing any other graphic, but in this case, it happens to be a DAS file rather than a PNG or JPEG or GIF or SVG. So here it is. This is the one that somebody sent me. His name is Bill and he's a little happy guy. If I want to give a description, I could. I could go ahead and say Bill, heavyset, man, Happy. And it imported just as expected, just like any other graphics format. I can resize him. But what you'll notice is the drawing paths are already there. So I don't have to do anything. I can just go ahead and use the character and enjoy the fact that Doodly will draw it automatically for me. And that's the basics of working with DAS files. Thanks for watching.